Recently, I installed the turn signal switchbacks for the Forerunner, and I decided, well, we might as well get some matching turn signals for the rear turn signals. So we have LED rear turn signals that we're going to install today. And they look about like the switchbacks, only these, they're all amber. Whereas the switchbacks have, obviously they have the white light. And then when you flip the turn signal on, they go to amber. But these are all amber. They won't be on all the time like the switchbacks would with your running lights. But we'll get these put in the forerunner and give you a look at them. For this particular install, you shouldn't need that many things. You should actually only need one thing, and that would be like some sort of a pry tool. And just maybe your car keys to unlock the doors, which we all know that. I also wanted to let everyone know that if you are interested in these, I will have a link down in my description and probably in the comments of a discount code you can use to receive 15% off of these if you go to lastfit.com. So if you're interested in that, check the description and there'll be a link down there. <clears throat> so the first order of business, you're going to open your trunk and you'll see this compartment right here. You're going to want to go from the inside, not this side because there are two tabs that kind of almost hook into it. So you want to go from this side using your pry tool and pry that off there and it'll just pop right out. So you just take your pry tool. There's actually a little notch right here. You can feed that into there. It just pops right out. You can use your hand or you can move your pry tool up, but it just pops right out. These are the uh, two hook tabs I was talking about. So when you put it back in there, you just latch it back in like that. But off to the side for now. So when you're looking inside of the panel, you're going to see this is your tail light and all the wires and everything that go to it. It is not, sorry, it's not this one right here, but it's the one up above it right here. So that is your turn signal bulb. So you reach in there and twist it and pull out your bulb, which I will do here in a second. And it just pulls right out just twist and turn and then the ball will pop out once you have your bulb out you can see it right here you'll just Pull that out of the housing and there's your amber bulb you take that throw it in the trash so here we have the new LED rear turn signal by last fit and you are just going to slide it inside that housing Just like that and you can test it out by hitting your lock and unlock button and obviously it didn't work so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take it back out of the housing you're gonna flip it and then put it back in the housing and we'll try it again and it works so you're going to want to test that before you put everything back together just to save you a little time. But just from hitting my unlock button on my key fob, they look a lot brighter. So we'll get these installed back in and see how they look. You may have to slightly tug on this wire a little bit to get it back in the housing, but 
It'll feed right back in there. So once you get your ball back in there and into the housing again, the tail light housing, you know, all you're gonna do is just twist it. You'll hear a little click and it's in there. So as you can see, once it is installed, as I suspected, that's with the new last fit LED turn signal bulb in. And you can tell that it doesn't have as much amber showing, whereas this one still has a stock one and you can see the amber in that one. So it gives it a slightly different look and they are much brighter as I will show you here in a second. So here's the stock amber bulb. That's how that looks. And here is the new last fit LED bulb. And as you can tell, it is much brighter. So now that you have your bulb in, you know it works and everything looks good. You take your panel again, noting the little hook tabs. And you're gonna take that, just put it right back in there, give it a little push, and that's done. That side is done. So we'll move on to the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the other side. This is the passenger side. process let's pop that out So here's the finished product. This is how it looks when the car isn't on. But as you can see, no more amber and no more amber. So here it is with the flashing lights on. As you can see, they're much brighter. Like I said, if you are interested in these, there will be a discount code in the description for 15% off. I've had these lights going for probably 10 minutes and I do have the front as LEDs as well but there is no hyper flashing which is great that's not what we want but you do not need a resistor which is a big selling point for a lot of people I wanted to pull this in the garage. As you can see, my face is lighting up amber right now, but I wanted to pull this in the garage to give it a little bit of a shadow from the sunshine. These lights are very bright, which is a good thing because it will definitely help people see me turning. After doing the install on this, not hard at all. I think anybody could do it. So I hope the uh, installation video helped you and I hope if you like the look of them, you'll consider getting them. I just thought, you know, I'll get rear turn signals to match the front turn signals that are LED. But they're much brighter. I hope they help people see me turn. And, you know, that's it. So, thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Like the video. And everybody have a great day.